Have you ever wondered how gummies are made? Today, we are answering that question and so much more with my experiment, Edible Worms. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your chef hats and let's get cooking. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Emily's Science Lab, stay curious and keep exploring. Today's experiment is all about gastronomy, which is the scientific approach to food. For this one, we are going to be cooking up some creepy, crawly, and quite delicious edible worms. For this one, you need a half cup of warm water, not hot water. Hot water will not work. We've tested it, it doesn't work. Warm water from the tap works great. A quarter teaspoon of food grade sodium alginate, I'll link where I got this one in the caption. One teaspoon of flavored liquid drink mix, a cup to mix it all in, a syringe, and parents, if you have children's Tylenol, you can use the little syringe that comes with that. A bowl, two cups of cold water, two teaspoons of food grade calcium chloride, and a couple of forks. So first we're going to make our sodium alginate solution. So take your half cup of warm water and place it in the cup, and then add a quarter teaspoon of sodium alginate. Mix that as well as we can. And now let's add a full teaspoon of our liquid drink mix. Just throw that in there. And I'm gonna show you a trick on how to mix this up because you'll notice when you try to mix this up, it's very hard, it gets very clumpy. Get an empty water bottle and you can use a funnel to make this a little bit easier. And just funnel this inside your water bottle, get all the clumps in there. And then put the cap on and just start shaking. So we can go ahead and put that back in our cup. Most of the clumps are now gone. It's a great trick. I'm telling you, it'll save you so much time. And now for our calcium chloride bath. So go ahead and add your two cups of cold water to the bowl. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of calcium chloride. One. And two. And then use your other fork to mix this until it dissolves. It'll take about a minute. If you can try to smush some of those clumps, that'll make it easier to dissolve. Now that that's dissolved, we can take our sodium alginate solution and put it in your syringe. And here's the fun part. Squeeze it in your calcium chloride bath. In three, two, one. You can see the worms forming before your eyes. Look at this. We can get a paper towel and just place them on the paper towel. Look at that. Look how jelly and gummy that is. Whoa. So what's happening here? Well, sodium alginate comes from seaweed and chefs will use this in puddings and jams to thicken it up, it's a thickening agent. But how does that work? Well, sodium alginate is a polymer, and when this polymer is in the presence of calcium, calcium will cross-link the molecules in that polymer, creating a shell or a gel, trapping the liquid inside. And so when we forced our sodium alginate into our calcium chloride bath, the sodium alginate got cross-linked on the outside, and in the inside, there's still that liquid sodium alginate. So we created our little gummy, our little gushers in here in our calcium chloride bath. And we added our liquid flavoring because sodium alginate on its own doesn't taste very good. So we added our own flavoring to make it taste good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. If you're having a hard time with your edible worms, one, make sure that your sodium alginate solution isn't too hot. Make sure it's really mixed up well. Use that bottle technique. And then finally, make sure it can sit in your calcium chloride bath for a little bit so it can really firm up. Look at this. Look at those worms. You'll notice that these taste 
a little salty if you eat them right from your calcium chloride bath. That is because calcium chloride is a salt. So if you want them to taste a little bit better, I recommend drying them off first and trying to get as much of that calcium chloride off as possible. Because then, will taste a little bit better. Thanks for making edible worms with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. We'll see you next time. Emily's Science Lab.